This is Divine Evolution, and I'm Chris O'Connor. Today I would like to talk about spiritual maturity. We can all learn something from someone, and probably learn something from everyone. And this is my way of passing on information that I've received over the many years of my seeking. And one thing, one concept that I have begun to truly understand is so very important is simply spiritual maturity. I've mentioned in the past that when a soul reincarnates into the third density or into a human form for the first time, that they are coming from a long-standing series of incarnations in the second density up to the point where a single conscious being in the second density begins to learn and understand that there is more to life than simple survival. They begin to desire connection with other beings of their same kind. And this is most common in pack animals. They lean upon others of their same species to survive. And so this is the pack mentality. And that will evolve with them from not simply needing one another to survive and shelter for protection, for food. They begin to mature enough as an animal that they begin to feel something different stir within them. And they don't know what this is, and this is the feeling of love. This is the feeling of not simply wanting to be in that pack for protection, food, and shelter, but because they want to be in the presence of their other pack members. And this is the beginning of a conscious love. And then as this begins to develop, they begin to understand that feeling what they feel for their other pack members separates them out from that pack. And they begin to see themselves and recognize themselves as an individual. And once they recognize that they are an individual, that is the end of their incarnation in second density. And then their next incarnation will be the human form. Now, at this time on Earth, with the human race, we've been around a while. We have a lot of technology. We have a lot of understanding of comfort, of cities, of families, of being an individual. And when you first evolve from second to third density, your first incarnation, that will be the beginning of the lessons of love because you've now recognized yourself as an individual. But then also those feelings of love for others begin to flourish and develop. And so when I speak of spiritual immaturity, you have to understand that newly incarnated human beings, freshly coming from the animal kingdom, still have a pack mentality, still have the mentality of needing to get for the self. Now, I've mentioned in the past the positive polarities work for the benefit of others. Negative polarities work for the benefit of the self. Now, there's a difference between first becoming a human being and having this self-preservation, powerful, strong drive because you came with that into the human form. But that's different than being a negative individual, doing all things to benefit the self and to separate yourself from others. Now there's a degree of evolution in the human being that through their first number of incarnations, they begin to learn the lesson of them separating themselves from the pack and then they can begin to understand the differences between survival and thriving from being an individual or a part of a pack. And this process may be a single lifetime. It may be many, many lifetimes. It's solely dependent upon the individual soul complex. 
And when I say complex, I mean the spirit and soul consciousness of the individual that comes with you as you go through your incarnations. And the immaturity comes in innocence at first. But once you begin to understand that you are an individual and that there's a difference between truly working to benefit yourself or working to benefit others. Because if you think back to the beginning where God made all things into existence and that all material comes from God so that we are all part of God, we are all part of the same material, then there is no difference in the fact that we are all one. And once that concept is understood, then a true decision of what you desire, and that is the desire to incarnate, working to serve yourself and to benefit yourself, even in an innocent way, if all decisions that you make somehow will benefit you, even if you're the only one that knows it, or even if it's just satisfaction, or if it's financial, or if whatever benefit comes to you, if the things that you do are the purpose for self-benefit, then those decisions are of a negative polarity. And when you begin to know the difference between whether you are working on a daily level, moment by moment, trying to benefit yourself or making decisions and doing things for the benefit of someone else, then that is when you are truly responsible for your actions. And that is when that horizontal line of polarity comes into play. Once you realize that you are either benefiting yourself and you're negative, or you're benefiting others and you're working toward the positive, and it doesn't mean your entire life is, but each decision that you make on that scale of polarity moves in the direction of the choices that you make. And the cumulative totalitarian ending is either you're a negative person or a positive person. So you must choose these things, benefiting yourself and that scale sliding to the left, or benefiting others and that scale sliding to the right. And the more you envision this, the more your soul matures, and the more is opened up to you on a spiritual level. And this is the place in time within your life that meditation will come into play. And it's critical, especially at the beginning, that you understand and learn the process of meditation and the chakras. And we will get into both of those subjects in following episodes. For now, I simply want to bring the understanding of spiritual maturity and for us not to judge others when we see people do primal things. We should never judge anyway based on the fact that there is no judgment from God or any others, and we cannot judge others as they are God as we are. So we are judging ourselves. And when we benefit ourselves, we are benefiting others. And we're benefiting others, we're benefiting ourselves as well. So no matter what actions you take, you're benefiting yourself and you're benefiting others. It's your intention on the decisions and choices that you make. And my desire is to help you understand and see that your decisions make polar changes. Your evolution of your soul can go as quickly or as slowly as you choose. Love surrounds and abounds us. And it changes who we are if we allow it in and simply accept it for what it is. It is love, it is the essence and soul of God. Love is light, love is God, and I love you. Until next time, I'm Chris O'Connor.